good morning YouTube, Bob, KK4DIV, and it is a kind of overcast Sunday morning, but we're going to have a little bit of uh, radio fun today. Uh, I've got my truck packed up with some radio gear. I've got the packet in a box, so we're going to try a little bit of packet radio, see if I can get into my home station here from the park down the, down the road, um, park there on the water, Kensaw Park. Y'all seen me uh, operate there before. We're going to try that. We've also got the Yezu FG817, the Chameleon F-Loop antenna, and my little laptop. We're going to see if we can do a little PSK. And I just want to get out and make a few contacts to see if uh, see if all the gears still working, the batteries are working, uh, the antenna is still working. Just you know, it's good to get out every once in a while and just check your gear and make sure everything still works and there aren't any problems with it. I think that's just kind of a a good idea to have especially if you uh, are you know not using it that often and you know you don't want to get out to an important activation and find out that your stuff doesn't work or you get in a situation where you may need it in case of an emergency and find out your stuff doesn't work so my goal today is just to get out and see if I can't make a couple contacts see if everything still works together and then pack it all up and come back to the house so uh, y'all come along for the uh, journey and the ride along today and uh, Hope you enjoy it, so stay tuned. All right, we have got the truck packed up. So what we got here, uh, that's my FT817 Go Box. That's the Chameleon F-Loop antenna. Uh, that's my packet in a box right there. This is another little tripod that I can put the F-Loop on. Got my little camp stool there. This is my telescoping bamboo. Uh, really, that's a fishing pole, but we've uh, got that attached to a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, a umbrella stand there, and that will, uh, I can put my packet in a box antenna up on that, or I can use it with my infed antenna I have in here. Well, you know, nice to have options. Got the laptop, and that's my uh, camera box there, so everything's loaded up. We're going to get on down to the park here. Uh, and uh, see if we can't, uh, we're going to do pack it in a box first and uh, see if we can't get into my station. All right, guys, you know, when I do these park activations, I've got to have my Sonic. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? We got some tots. Mmm. Yeah. And a Sonic Super Sonic Burrito. All right, you're not going to be able to see much on the screen there because of the glare. I do dislike that. But we've got the Tiny Trek 4, that's the TNC we're using. Uh, this is a little USB to serial adapter. It's a Belkin. Uh, it's an older model. I don't think they make this specific model anymore. Uh, but it uh, it's worked for me. And we've got the radio. It's Bofeng. It's the 8-watt uh, version. That's the BF, BFF8HP model. Um, uh, that's, yeah, that's 8 uh, watts. And it's just running off of a seal lead acid. Uh, I think this is an 8-amp hour. Yeah, 8-amp hour battery. And the little lo laptop. So we're going to see if we can't... Uh, get into the packet station at the house using this. All right, I really doubt you're gonna be able to see anything on this screen just because there is so much glare. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to a program here called, um, what is this thing called? Outpost. So we'll click Outpost. And I already have this set up to connect to my home BBS. 
So we're going to hit send receive and hopefully this thing works. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to open up my AG, my packet engine. See, this is why you do this because you will forget what you need to do. All right, so it says my packet engine is ready and running. So now let's go back to outpost. and see if this works there we are okay if you can see that through the glare we are connected and we are downloading messages to uh, my remote station here from my home bbs so uh see this is why i do this every once in a while i like to get out because uh, it didn't work at first and i didn't know what was going on and uh I forgot that you had to open up the AGW uh, PE, uh, the packet engine for the TNC. I uh, forgot to do that. And then I found out that you have to open them in a certain order. You've got to open the package engine first and then open uh, Outpost. So that's why uh, I wasn't able to get into it at first. And that's why you need to get out here and do this every once in a while. To keep it fresh in your mind and you don't forget what you need to do so look at this we're uh downloading a lot of housekeeping results uh get one of these every day and i haven't logged in in a while so we're going to be downloading quite a few messages here uh, but i'm going to send a message out to uh, n4kgl um, and n4stc see if we can't get those guys uh logging back into the bbs and uh see if they'll um um can get these messages so all right just wanted to show you all that real quick all right there's the antenna that's just a roll up j pole i got off of uh I believe i got it off ebay uh, a number of years ago uh, i'd have it on top of uh almost on top of this uh bamboo vision pole here got that uh umbrella stake there in the ground hope y'all can see that and uh, that works pretty well to get it up in the air high enough for uh, some uh, you know semi-local communication I'm about uh, I'm a couple miles from home uh, here so uh, still pretty close but uh, that works well I mean if you needed to uh, uh, you know transfer uh, data just a few miles over packet uh, this station would do it we're still downloading messages from my uh, BBS right now but yeah uh, it's working and like I said in a, in a pinch in an emergency or just for fun you know a few miles uh, to send messages back and forth uh, through packet uh, just a little uh, 8 watt or even a, probably a 5 watt Baofeng would work just fine uh, the tiny track TNC uh, and a little laptop with your uh, AGWPE uh, uh, packet engine and uh, outpost and uh, you can send messages back and forth great for emergencies great for fun uh, field day anything like that all right so just had a Lynn Haven police officer stop by and I love it when they do that because they always ask what are you doing uh, but this guy, uh, I think he said his grandfather was a ham, so he kind of had an idea as to what I was doing. So we talked a little bit. I gave him my card, uh, wrote our club's uh, website down, told him we do testing. He seemed quite interested. Uh, he said he was a little bit of a prepper, uh, which I said that's fine. A lot of hams are, and if you're really wanting to be prepared, uh, communication is certainly a key uh, to being prepared. Uh, so I gave him the club's information, I told him when we meet, told him about our uh, testing there, and uh, told him a little bit about what I was doing with uh, packet radio and how that could be helpful in uh, communication during emergencies as well. So 
I always enjoy talking to uh, to the local police officers when they stop by because they're usually curious as to what you, what you're doing, and I I just think I I, I get a kick out of it. So uh, we've lo downloaded uh, all the uh, messages here. Finally got them all downloaded. Uh, took about 20 minutes. Uh, had quite a few, and most of those are just those housekeeping uh, messages I get from my bulletin board every day. I could turn those off, uh, but I like seeing them. And uh, so we got them all downloaded. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to send a couple of messages out. All right. Not if y'all sure if y'all can see that with the glare once again. But we're sending a message here from the park. It's pretty cool. Sent two messages and now we're disconnecting. done all right let's pack this uh, packet in a box station up pack this packet <laughs> we're gonna pack it up pack it we're gonna pack it the packet <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Again, sorry for the glare on the screen. We've got PSK using FL Digi. And uh, there's a little laptop. We've got the FT817 on the floorboard of the truck. Uh, right above that is that uh, little battery I've been using for a couple years now. And then we've got the signal link. And out here we have the Chameleon F-Loop antenna. Good antenna for portable use. Uh, small footprint, don't have to worry about any counterpoise, anything like that. So for those reasons, I still love that Chameleon loop antenna. Or any loop for that matter would be uh, good, but uh, the Chameleon is the one I got and uh, I know it works well. But we've got quite a bit of activity here on uh, PSK on 20 meters today. But let's see if we can't log a QRP contact on uh, PSK. All right, let's see what we can do with PSK 31. I'm down to uh, just under 50% battery, so uh, I'm going to make this quick. If I can find an empty space on the waterfall, it's uh, pretty active. like to give it a few seconds sometimes it takes people a second to get over to where you are not seeing anything so we're going to try it again nice thing about macros is you just got to hit a button now i do like to have a little bit of a QSO, you know so sometimes i use macros you know just to call cq i think most people do uh, but once i get into it you know i like to do a little typing too and that all depends on what I'm doing. Now, if I'm doing a park on the air activation, it's usually just macros. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Somebody's doing something that's very wide-banded here on the frequency. I'm not sure what it is. Seeing some contestia over up the band a little bit. Not seeing anybody come back to me, so we're going to call CQ again. All right, we've got a uh, contact going here. Uh, K0TDC. Uh, it says, I'm in and out. We're 5 watts, so... Yep, he's got my name. Name is Todd. K0TDC, Todd. Gotcha, man. All right, located in Parker, Colorado. 
All right, had a nice little QSO there with Todd. Uh, that was K0TDC in Colorado. So, um, yeah, um, good to know everything still works. It took a while for me to get somebody. He said I was fading a little bit, uh, but no problems there uh, with that QSO. And uh, Todd, if you ever stumble across this video, K0TDC, thanks so much for the contact. And I hope to catch you again on the waterfall. Uh, so we did it. We logged contact uh, with PSK, a little setup here. My battery's about to die on my laptop, so we're going to pack it all up. Uh, but kind of a very successful outing here. Uh, got the packet station up, did uh, some packet radio, and then uh, was able to log a contact on PSK. So I think that's a very good, uh, very good outing. And we're going to get everything packed up now and head on back to the house. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for tagging along with me today, coming out to the park and uh, being with me here while I made a couple contacts. Uh, it was a successful day. You know, I was able to uh, get the packet station up and working and able to retrieve my messages off my packet station. Sent a couple other packet uh, messages out to uh, a couple local friends, the hams here in town. And then I was able to uh, break out the Chameleon F-Loop and the FT817 and uh, have a nice little QSO there on PSK31 with a gentleman there in uh, Colorado. So uh, very successful day here. Uh, it's a little bit windy, uh, so I hope the uh, hope that it's picking up the audio here. But uh, we're going to shut this thing down. We're going to get back to the house. So again, thank you everybody for tuning into the station. Uh, we'll uh, check you next time and uh, see you in a future video. This is Bob, KK4DIV.